Good day from the Philippines. So what makes you special? What makes you different from the crowd? What makes you stand out? I'll tell you what makes you different. You want to change your life. There are thousands of people that would just stay in a rut. They'll never change their life. They'll keep doing what they've been doing forever. You want something more, just as I did. You're prepared to take a chance. You're prepared to take the risks. Nobody says it's easy. It was never easy for me. Sure, financially, I was able to make the move. Sure, I found or I'd hoped I'd found the right Filipina. But was that enough? Was that really enough? Because at the end, after all that, I still had to find the courage of my convictions, the courage to move from there to here, where I'm standing right now. And when you think about it, it's not even in a part of the Philippines most foreigners would even dream of living or want to live. This is the red zone of Mindanao in the Philippines. A place Western governments advise their citizens not even to travel to, let alone live there. So I had a huge, for want of a better word, decision to make. Not only did I have to quit my job, the job would be gone. Once I gave him my letter of notice, that's it, no more job. No more job equaled where I was living. I couldn't pay the rent anymore once the paycheck stopped. Then I didn't know if my Filipina would be there waiting for me. I'd only met her online. A rather foolish thing to do, which I wouldn't just advise anybody else to do. You've got to meet your Filipina in person once, twice, three times even more before you enter this kind of decision. But I did all that. And like I say, the red zone on top of everything. I took the risks because I wanted to change my life. I could not go on living that life the way I had been. And I was getting older. If I was... 30 years old, perhaps things might have been different. They might have seemed different because I had many more years, or I would hope I had many more years in me. But the age I was getting at, I was beginning to worry. Now, I'm not trying to say because of my age, that was the only reason I made this decision, because it wasn't. It was part of it. It was an important part of it. But ultimately, it was what I wanted to do. It's what I felt was the right thing for me. That's why when the naysayers, and not everyone is a naysayer, but when the naysayers back home, in your best interest of course, try and persuade you not to go. It's not the best deal for you. There are too many hurdles, there are too many obstacles, there are too many things that can go wrong for you. That's why you must take the negatives with a pinch of salt. You come here, you meet your Filipina on vacation, whether you're here for three weeks, four weeks or more, that's up to you. Maybe you do that and you feel like you need to come back whenever you're able. Later in the year, the beginning of the following year, whenever, just to be sure. Do not let the naysayers put you down, put you off. The naysayers are never coming here. The naysayers probably don't want to come here, which is all well and good. Who cares? Who cares? I've always said, when you've got people giving you constructive criticism, be careful 
Are you sure you're making the right move? Are you sure your Filipino is legitimate? Those kind of things, I'm really happy for you. That's all well and good. That's great. That gives you a moment to think things through. Yeah, maybe the advice they're giving me needs further thought. But when you just get the naysayers, eh, what do you want to do a foolish thing like that for? It's a third world country, the Philippines. Filipina, what's a Filipina? Oh, it's a, a female Philippine, uh, Philippines person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, how do you know she's for real? She's very attractive. What they're thinking is too attractive for you. That's what they're thinking. Oh, she's 40. You're 60. She's too young for you. And she's too attractive for you. Secretly, that's what they're thinking. Too attractive for you. And they're afraid. They're afraid. They're terrified. You might have found your happiness. They don't want that. Because that negates their unhappiness. They want the status quo to remain. And you're part of that status quo. Oh, Phil, yeah. He lives in that room, doesn't he? Oh, he's a nice guy. Or he's not a nice guy, whoever you happen to be. Doesn't do much, does he? He, he buys gold, doesn't he? That's what he says he does. Uh, that's part of the status quo. They feel better because perhaps they do more than you. Or they had more than you. Do not let them drive your ambition away. You do what you have to. You do what you want to do. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. At least you tried. Why are you special? Why are you different from the crowd? Because you're going to come here to the Philippines when it's your time. Because you're going to find yourself a Filipina to marry when it's your time. It was my time at one time. So it will be yours. Once you come here, once you meet a nice Filipina, once you've done your prep, once you've done your research, once you've done your homework, once you know financially you're secure, then your fate is in the lap of the gods. You could meet a wrong one, a bad Filipina. I always say that. They exist doesn't matter where in the Philippines, just like anywhere else. Filipinas, let's get this out of the way. Filipinas are not gods or goddesses, okay? What the opportunity is, is this. You, regardless of the way you look, can come here and meet an attractive Filipina. Something you really couldn't do back home. You couldn't punch above your weight. Here you can. And if you meet the right Filipina, everything would dovetail. Everything will fit. That's what the opportunity is. The opportunity isn't everything's going to go smoothly. You're never going to have problems with your Filipina. You will do. Pick a good one. Yes, they're loyal. Pick a good one. Yes, they'll love you. Pick a good one. They'll care for you. So long as it's reciprocal. But don't confuse that with they're perfect. Don't confuse that with you're not going to have issues with them. Each Filipina is different depending on where they come from, their family background, and them. 
A Filipina is a Filipina? I don't think so. I don't believe a Filipina from Manila is the same as a Filipina from here in Mindanao, Western Peninsula. Sure, they come from the same country. If you're an American, and let's say you live in California or New York, are you the same as an American from Louisiana, from Kentucky, from Tennessee? Sure, you're all American, but do you really think the same? And it's the same here. So don't confuse. You're coming here to change your life because you are special, because you want to change your life. But don't get confused. Filipinas are supergirls or wonder women. They can be on a good day. Like I said, pick the right one. They're loyal. They'll treat you with kindness. They'll even love you if you pick the right one. But with that, they're human, just like anybody else, like, just like any other woman anywhere in the world. They have good days, they have bad days. They'll have tampo, there'll be arguments. They'll do things that you don't think is the right thing to do. Just like any other relationship. You will find that out. I don't care about the honeymoon period, how lovely they are when you meet them online. Once you live with someone, things are different. And you need to understand that. So, by all means, put Filipinas on a pedestal. But don't put them too high. No one. No one is that perfect. But having said that, pick a good one. They're, they're a thousand percent better than anything you or I would be able to get back there in the West. That's the opportunity. Let's use a, an analogy. Put all your money on a horse. And if it wins, you'll make $100,000. You won't make 10 million, 20 million, 30 million. You'll make 100,000, which will change your life because you've got nothing. But the reality is you didn't have enough. The odds of the horse weren't big enough for you to get three, four, five million. But the upshot is 100,000 is great. It'll change your life for the better. And that's what a Filipina is. Not perfect by any means, but good enough to make you happy. And that's really what it's all about in the end. So what makes you special, apart from watching this video? Because you've got to be special to want to watch one of my videos. What makes you special is you know what you want and you implicitly know what you don't or what you no longer want to put up with. And you're making moves, you're making plans to change where you are to where I am, the Philippines, not Mindanao particularly, the Philippines. You're sitting there at home, one presumes, watching your laptop, your desktop, maybe your phone, watching this very video. Some of you might be in a relationship, an LDR, long distance relationship with a Filipina. Some might even be married to a Filipina, but I'm guessing the vast majority of the people that are watching right now have nobody. At the moment it's a pipe dream. It's something for the future. Watch my videos, comment, subscribe and I'll tell you why. I'm just an ordinary guy. 
that made it. Nothing special. Well, that's a lie. There was something special. The whole point of this video is we are special. I mean nothing special in terms of being an Olympian athlete. The only speciality I had was the need, was the justification because of the need to change my life 180%. To change it once and for all completely and never to go back there. There, where I came from, wasn't for me. I'm one of those people it wasn't for. So that's the speciality that we possess. We're not bodybuilders, well some of us might be. We're not 100 meter dash Olympian specialists. Some of us might be, but the vast majority aren't. We're special in different ways. And I'm nothing special in terms of my desire to want you to have what I've got or a portion of what I've got. And by that, I mean, maybe you just want to come here, meet a Filipina and take her home. That's a portion, a large portion. You don't actually want to physically live in the Philippines. Maybe when you get older, but it's not part of what you want to do now which is all good, all good. Yeah, I paused. I paused so you can think about what I've said and understand yet again in one of my motivational videos. I can pontificate for hours and try and motivate you. I can pump out these videos every day but at the end of that day or any other day it's you that's going to make the difference to you and for you. I can't make the difference. I can make you think but I can't physically take you by the hand and walk you through what you have to do because only you know what you have to do and that's not really for me to tell you what you have to do be strong and then be stronger it's Monday tomorrow you'll start the week again in a job you more than likely don't like and a life you more than likely don't like. Don't give up. Keep on saving. Keep on researching until the time is right for you. Because you're special in that you want to change your life as I wanted to. Never forget, you're special.